In this quick tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to take professional looking product shots at home using just your smartphone. I'm using the Xiaomi Mi 11, but this works with pretty much any smartphone you have. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm in a lockdown at home. I can't really shoot outside. So I thought this is a great idea to show you guys with whatever you have lying at home, you can create some really cool looking shots. The first thing you're obviously gonna need is your product. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using the Dior Perfume. This video is not sponsored by the way, I just I just like this. The second thing obviously you're gonna need is your smartphone. For this case, like I said, I'm using the Xiaomi Mi 11. And the last thing you're gonna need is an external light. I'm gonna link this one down in the description below so you guys can check it out. For this shot, I want a reflective surface, so I'm using the tablet screen as my reflection. Then I'm gonna put my phone down on a tripod to make sure it doesn't move. Put the product on eye level to the camera so it's exactly centered to the product. Then what we're gonna do, go to pro mode, lock your focus by using the focus peaking to make sure you don't miss focus because everything is going to go pretty dark soon. Now once you have all of that set up, it's time to turn off the lights. Now obviously you won't be able to see anything, but that's why we have our external light. So we're going to do this in three different ways. The first thing is going to be to light it up from right in front of the product at a 45 degree angle to light up the front side. Then the second one is going to be back left at a diagonal angle and then the back right at a diagonal angle as well. You can play around with the lighting how you like, but if you do it correctly, you should get three different shots, one lighting up the front and the other two being rim lights for the left edge and the right edge. Our goal here is to get maximum separation from the background. After you've done that, it's time to edit the picture and I'm gonna do that on the phone as well. Open up Adobe Photoshop Mix and then you're gonna open the three images. Number one is gonna be the light on the right side, create a new layer, import the second image, which is the light on the left side. And then the third and the final one is going to be importing the image with the light in the front. This has to be the order. Then select the first image at the top, click blend mode and change it to screen. Do the same thing for the second layer, click blend and change it to screen. Once you've done this, you can see we're getting the lighting from all the three shots in just one single image. The next step is going to be to crop this to remove any distractions or things that we don't need in the image, which would be the lighting, the chair at the back, the pillow, all of that stuff needs to be removed. So we're going to crop it in such a way that we get the reflection from the glass at the bottom as well as the top of the frame perfectly managed in a 3x4 resolution and ratio. So this looks good. We're going to save image to gallery. So this is the shot you should end up with. After that, we're going to take it to the best app for editing, which is Adobe Lightroom. Bring the image in. As you import it, you're going to add in a bunch of contrast and make the image darker overall. So add contrast, reduce your shadows a fair bit and reduce your blacks a fair bit as well. Then we're going to go over to the curves and add in a slight fade to this because uh, that's how I want it really. I want it to look a little bit like mysterious and cool. After we've done that, we're going to click done, move over to the effects tab, add in texture and clarity. Then go back to your colors. I want this to be a black and white shot, so I'm going to change the colors to black and white. Add in a little bit of sharpening and then we're going to move on to our selective edits. Here you can create a new brush, a soft brush and make the exposure for it completely dark with dark shadows and just paint around to remove the bright parts. Then we're going to use the healing brush tool and remove these little dust particles because I was stupid enough not to clean it. But there you go. That's what you're going to do. Check the before and after. I feel like we can add a bit more contrast into this. Export your image and you're pretty much done. How sick does that look? And that's pretty much it. That's how you can take professional looking product shots at home using just your smartphone. Now, if you take pictures like this, definitely tag me on Instagram in your shots and I'll check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.